Hello guys, how are you? I hope so that you will be enjoying a sound health. Today's my topic is on angina pectoris, which is a heart pain. So we will start here. Angina pectoris, which is having two types. The most prominent ones are stable angina, also known as angina pectoris and unstable angina. This condition is characterized by unexpected chest pain during rest. Unlike stable angina, unstable angina occurs unpredictably. It also changes in frequency and may get worse over time. Then there, uh, there is variant angina, which is third one, also known as men's metal variant angina or angina inversa. It is usually rare and typically occurs in younger patients who have other pre-existing heart conditions. It uh, generally occurs while resting, especially during the night or early morning. Microvascular angina, this, one, this is the fourth one. This condition affects the heart, the smallest coronary arteries. It is brought about by spasm within the walls of the blood vessels. The pain may be more severe and last much longer than other types of angina. When does angina pectoris occurs? Medical conditions such as uh, atherosclerosis cause the walls of the blood vessels to become narrow, thereby decreasing the blood flow. During resting, the narrowed artery, arteries allow enough blood to reach the heart. However, the heart requires more blood than it receives during emotional stress or strenuous physical activity. Such condition requires the heart to work harder, thereby causing angina pectoris. Sign and symptoms of angina pectoris are following. It occurs when the heart needs to work harder, mostly during physical exertion. And a series of pain tends to occur, however, it does not come by surprise. The pain lasts typically for a shorter period. The chest pain radiates to the shoulder, arms and back and up to the jaw and left arm. And it may be associated with indigestion and doctors usually ask about the patient's medical history and perform tests to diagnose angina pectoris. The tests typically involved are angiography, a kind of x-ray in which both the blood vessels and blood flow to the heart can be examined. They do electrocardiogram or ECG. This evaluates heart rhythm, heart rate and measures the electrical activity of the heart. These tests could identify if any arteries are blocked and whether the heart is functioning appropriately. As far as angina pectoris treatment is concerned, treatment of angina pectoris involves changes in lifestyle, surgery and medication. One could typically predict this discomfort when there is the pain in the chest and by reducing physical exertion helps to control the chest pain. Some lifestyle adjustments may involve regular exercise and follow a healthy diet of vegetables and whole grains. These habits could reduce the risk of chronic diseases like high cholesterol, hypertension, and diabetes. Apart from these, the intake of alcohol, drugs, and the use of tobacco should be avoided. As far as what are the early signs of angina, the early symptoms include chest discomfort or pain, nausea, fatigue, shortness of breath, sweating, dizziness and uh, there are some queries what are the types of angina then there are the most prominent are the stable angina, unstable angina, variant angina, microvascular angina. Can a person die from angina pectoris? If this condition is diagnosed then it is it indicates that the person is at an increased risk of cardiac arrest and sudden cardiac death.
how do the doctors diagnose angina pectoris it can be diagnosed with the help of an ecg an instrument designed to record the electrical activity of the heart yani it's depolarization and repolarization of its ventricles does angina pectoris increase with exercise angina can be induced with strenuous activity however it carefully supervised exercise programs are performed it can prove quite beneficial for heart health treatment of angina pectoris or pharmacological approaches uh, the short acting nitrites sublingual nitroglycerin is the cornerstone of drug treatment of angina pectoris it is most useful when given 2 to 3 minutes before activity when they may participate in angina attack if disabling angina persists despite medical management and there is no contraindication the beta adrenergic blocking agent propranolol should be tried before coronary artery surgery is considered newer beta adrenergic blocking agent do not appear to be more effective than propranolol digitalis may be beneficial in patients with congestive heart failure or with cardiac arrhythmias responsive to digitalis and in some patients with radiographic evidence of left ventricular enlargement or with nocturnal angina resulting from increased left ventricular and diastolic volume if bypass graft surgery is done medical management must be continued post operatively angina treatments include stents drug lifestyle changes and options for your angina treatment might include lifestyle changes medications or angioplasty and stenting uh blocked arteries heart arteries are causing your chest pain angina keeping an area of your heart from getting enough oxygen your doctor says you need to treat the blockage to avoid a heart attack and other complications there are several options for treating angina which might depend on the type of angina here is information to help types of angina might be angina is a pain discomfort or pressure in the chest the most common types are chronic stable angina and unstable angina chronic stable angina is one when the chest pain occurs when your heart is working hard enough to need more oxygen such as during exercise the pain can go away when you rest the pattern of pain how long it lasts how often it occurs what triggers it and how it depends it responds to rest or treatment remains stable for at least 2 months and there another one is unstable angina this is either new chest pain or a change in your usual pattern of chest pain whether it's wor- worsening uh, lasting longer or not being relieved by rest or medication unstable angina is dangerous and a warning sign of a heart attack if your angina is unstable seek urgent medical care other types of angina include variant or prismatal angina a rare type of caused by spasm in the coronary arteries and another one is microvascular angina which can be a symptom of disease in the small coronary artery blood vessels the treatment options are the best treatment options for your angina depends on the type of angina do you have and if you if your angina is stable you might be able to control it with life, lifestyle changes and medicines unstable angina requires immediate treatment in a hospital which uh, could involve medicines and surgical procedures medications are improving the angina symptoms including aspirin aspirin and other antiplatelet medications reduce the ability of your blood to clot making it easier for blood to flow through narrowed heart arteries and then are the role of nitrates often used to treat angina nitrate relaxes and widen your blood vessels allowing more blood to flow to your heart muscles nitrate in pills or sprays act quickly to relieve pain during an event there are also long acting nitrate pills and skin patches and then are the role of beta blockers these block the effects of the hormone epinephrine also known as adrenaline and 
they help your heart beat more slowly and with less force decreasing the effort your heart makes and easing the angina pain and decreasing the heart rate statins are also used to lower your blood cholesterol by blocking a substance your body needs to make cholesterol they might also help your body reabsorb cholesterol that has accumulated in the build up of fats plaques in your artery wall helping prevent further blockage in your blood vessels and then is the role of calcium channel blockers which are called as calcium antagonists these drugs relax and widen the blood vessels by affecting the muscle cells in the arterial walls this increases blood flow in your heart reducing or preventing angina then the role is of uh, renolazine ranexa this is an anti angina medication might be prescribed with other angina medications such as beta blockers it can also be useful as a substitute if your symptoms doesn't improve with the uh, other medications and then the procedures there are several procedures like angioplasty also known as percutaneous coronary intervention pci increases blood flow through a blocked artery and decreases angina during an angioplasty your doctor threads a tiny deflated balloon attached to a special tubing up through a uh, through an artery generally in your groin to your narrowed coronary artery your doctor inflates the balloon to widen the artery he or she might then insert a small metal tube stent to keep the artery open short car stent this procedure can take 30 minutes to several hours and you will be probably remain in the hospital at least overnight you can generally return to work or your normal routine soon after the angioplasty and stent procedure angioplasty and stenting involve some risk including a risk of the blockage reforming a stent coated with medication can help prevent this and then enhanced external counter pulsation ecp therapy might be recommended for some people those whose angina doesn't improve with other treatments for this therapy large cuffs are wrapped around your legs or air pressure causes the cuffs to inflate and deflate in time to your heart beat this typically requires getting 5 one hour treatment a week for 7 weeks then you must consider for lifestyle changes regardless of which angina treatment you choose your doctor will recommend that you make heart healthy lifestyle changes you can reduce or prevent angina by reducing your heart disease risk factors including smoking if you smoke stop stop it if you need help quitting talk to your doctor about smoking cessation therapies and poor diet eat a healthy diet with limited amount of saturated fat trans fat salt and sugar include a variety of fruits and vegetables whole grains lean meats and low fat dairy products in your diet use the white meat like fish in your diet sardines and uh, tuna lack of uh, physical activity talk to your doctor about starting a safe exercise plan if your angina is brought on by exertion and pace yourself and take rest breaks excessive weight if you are overweight find a way to achieve and maintain a healthy weight by balancing what and how much you eat with how much physical activity you get ask your doctor what a healthy weight is suitable for you then medical conditions get treatment for conditions that can increase your risk of angina such as diabetes high blood pressure and high blood cholesterol then avoid the stress it is easier to said than done but try to find ways to relax yourself meditate and uh, talk with your doctor about stress reduction techniques and how to choose 
uh, you and your doctor will discuss the pros and cons of each treatment to determine what might work best for you and for most people first steps include medications and lifestyle changes if these doesn't work for you uh, angioplasty and stenting can be another option talk to your doctor if you think you, your treatment is not controlling your angina well enough thank you for listening my topic uh, and this video and kindly share this video to others as well and have a wonderful day and thank you very much